Doctors across the nation are monitoring a mystery illness appearing in children that may be linked to the coronavirus. Most patients recover, but a few children have died. Two News reporter Kristen Eskow has more after speaking with a doctor at Dayton Children's about the warning signs. Doctors at Dayton Children's tell me they haven't seen any cases of this mysterious illness here just yet, but officials say in other cities like Cleveland and Detroit, there have been cases reported. Now doctors at Dayton Children's are preparing to treat any potential cases that may come in. Cases of the new pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome are growing around the United States, and some parents say they're concerned. I'm really worried about her going back to school. I know it's important for her to do that. Of course, those things are out of our hands. Um, but, you know, it, it does have the, 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 the possibility of, of, you know, affecting how education works here locally. Dr. Sherman Alter of Dayton Children's Hospital says the illness, while rare, has been found in children of all ages, and many of them have tested positive for coronavirus antibodies regardless of whether they showed any COVID-19 symptoms. And it looks like the entire illness may be a hyperinflammatory response to the virus infection. Dr. Alter says the condition appears to be similar to Kawasaki disease and toxic shock syndrome. He says symptoms include a fever that goes beyond four to five days, the whites of the eyes turning red, and a red rash all over the body. The tongue may also be red, and there may be swelling of the hands and feet. We have the medications that we need. We even have some extra medications that we don't routinely use with kids that present with classic Kawasaki disease that we could use. Dr. Alter says it's important to call your child's primary care doctor if you notice any symptoms. He says though many children with the illness have to be hospitalized, the vast majority get better. He also urges parents to ensure their kids continue to practice social distancing. I keep emphasizing it's relatively uncommon uh, you know, compared to the numbers of cases of bad disease we're seeing in adults. Dr. Alter says it's too early to tell whether the illness may have any long lasting effects. Now, a spokesperson for the Ohio Department of Health told me earlier she could not give me an exact total number on cases for this illness statewide since it's currently not a reportable disease. In Dayton, Kristen Escal, 2 News, working for you.